I'd like one or two of you uh, to maybe take up particularly why agriculture and is central to this, this equation of restoring soil. Globally, we have about 15 billion hectares of terrestrial land. Of these 15 billion hectares, nearly a third, about 4 billion hectares, are currently used for agriculture. But there's a really fascinating uh, study that came out in uh, the journal Science. They looked at how much agricultural land we would need under different scenarios. And one of these scenarios was a world where we all essentially live with a vegan diet and came to the conclusion that that would uh, result in a world where we only need about 1 billion hectares of agricultural land, roughly a fourth of the agricultural land we have today. We need to talk about farming because farming um, is the only way we can restore um, or, or better protect the vast amounts of the uh, world's, uh, vast amounts of world's forests. When we talk about emissions, one third of the emissions can actually be reduced by just sustainable food practices. Because if you're using the land for animal agriculture, we're talking, um, sure, the land is deforested and cleared first, but there's also overgrazing. Then you have intensive land use. And 80% of the land that's being used, I mean, the agricultural land, we use that to grow feed for animals. Um, you know, all of those factors considered, the most land, uh, less intensive way of doing agriculture is actually more plant-based agriculture. I can speak to the fact about soil from the Caribbean perspective. There is this issue currently that, you know, we don't have much farmers in the region because farming is not seen as a very popular or very beautiful job. And so um, when we're looking at everything, it's not just about the soil or the healthy soil. We're looking at the, the future of the, the sector. Um, the, the future of, um, of, of our economies. Farming is not considered as a very interesting job, right? But it is an interesting job because that is where it all starts. If that stops, our food and agriculture, our economy that we so much talk about will be over. It is similar to the oceans where it is considered that, you know, if we lose coral reefs, we will lose fish first, then fishers, then entire economies. Nature is about a connection, and that is why it's vital for all of us to understand about that. You think about a future 50 years from now, do you want smallholder farmers as part of the economy, as part of the society? The answer in most cases is a resounding yes, because beyond the issues of agricultural productivity, you think of how farmers form the backbone of our society, and part of that equation is enriching the soil. These are the people feeding the world and we have a duty to support them. My grandparents were farmers too. Something that's interesting is the knowledge that's passed down through conversation and conversation only. And conversation with people who may still be farming or may have retired long ago, but that knowledge needs to be continued in a sustainable way, just as we continue to create more sustainable agriculture. I mean, we can look back to generations and note that things have gotten progressively worse, so maybe it is valuable to take a step back.